Welcome to PTI. I'm Brooks Anderson from my partner Matthew Lilly. Today we will be talking about who will be better uh, in their first in the rookie seasons for the NFL. Will it be Andrew Luck or RG3? Personally, I'm going to have to take Luck. I think he will uh, do much better. Uh, I know he's filling Peyton Manning's shoes, but hopefully he, uh, which is a huge shoes to fill, but hopefully he can. Uh, he has good receiving weapons, and hopefully he can uh, go farther than Luck. What do you think? RG3 just simply because the Redskins did a better job of surrounding him with players and creating a team that will work around with RG3. They got uh, Brandon Merriweather and the free safety help in the secondary. So uh, Andrew Luck, I mean, RG3 can actually get rest on the bench when needed. Um, they got uh, Pierre Garçon, another throwing option. So, I mean, if you if you talk about most successful, I have to pick RG3 just because of his surroundings now. All right, our uh, next topic will be who, what team in the NBA is uh, most successful coming out of the draft. Uh, I personally think that, uh, oh, I was going to say the Timberwolves going into it, but after their, their horrible trade, uh, we'll see what happens with that. But um, I'm going to say the Rockets with uh, all, the pa all the picks that they have. They're uh, loaded in the draft. Hopefully they can, uh, hopefully they can solidify with uh, the players that they get and uh, – they're after uh, Dwight Howard, too, so we'll see what happens. Uh, if they get Howard, then they'll be absolutely unstoppable, and uh, hopefully these other picks that they get will uh, will go along with that. So what do you think, Matthew? I have to say the Sacramento Kings, because, uh, uh, of course, Anthony Davis going number one, number two, probably Michael Kidd, Bill Chris, uh, and then, you know, the Wizards, even though they don't need a shooting guard, their poor pick, the past four picks in the draft, of course, they're probably going to pick a Bradley Bill which I believe would leave open for Thomas Robinson to go to the Sacramento Kings. I mean, if you have Thomas Robinson and DeMarcus Cousins in the low block, I mean, there's no stopping them. Uh, Chuck Haynes will probably come off the bench. Uh, you have Tyreek at the point, uh, and for that on the bench coming in for Tyreek. You have uh, Travis Outlaw, small forward. I mean, I mean, it's just no, I just don't see any excuse for them as far as the roster says, why they shouldn't be a playoff contender after the draft. All right, again, I go with the Rockets. I think they will definitely do well. Uh, the third and final uh, topic that we have is the BCS uh, playoff system. Uh, will it work? Will it uh, relieve the, uh, the trauma and uh, the confusion of the uh, former bowl system? Uh, personally, I don't think it's going to be much better. Um, I mean, it doesn't go into effect until 2014, which I think is a mistake. Um, and also, I mean, with only a four, 14 playoff spot, I mean, those, that's it. That those are the only ones available. You're going to still have teams that did a really good job that deserve to be in there that uh, that aren't going to be there. Uh, Boise State might still get upset. Uh, Oklahoma State might still get upset because they might have great a great year and still not be able to get into that playoff. So I totally disagree with it. Um, I mean, parts of it are great, uh, and also the part that goes for 12 years. Uh, that's just bad planning on the uh, part of the committee. It doesn't really surprise me, considering the committee consisted of, like, a dentist and a lawyer and an economist and a political scientist and all kinds of other things. But, uh, yeah, I'm totally against it. What do you think? I had to agree with you 100%. I mean, uh, if anything, they, were sh they should stress that I'll make it, like, three years in effect. So that it wouldn't it wouldn't have a long term effect of disappointment. Uh, I just think it's going to cause more controversy in mean, a four team roster. I mean, it's more you're better off with the bowl game. I mean, bowl games. There's more play more teams playing in the bowl games than a four man, a four team playoff uh, playoff. Um, I think that it should be about a 15 or 18 uh, team playoff. But of course, we're going to complain about the money issue, which is always an issue. So you can rule that out of the question. Uh, the 14, I mean, it's going to be at least two teams that go undefeated every year. There's plenty of teams that have tie records, uh, tie records at the end of the season. I just don't think it's a good choice at all. All right, that's a wrap for Matthew Lilly. I'm Brooks Anderson. This has been PTI.